This video is another part to a 10 part series that I've been running here on my channel for Final Cut Pro 10 beginners. So at the moment I have a browser window open, the preview window, the inspector and the timeline. So what you want to do is you want to move up to your browser window and not the first, not the second, but the third which has the T for your title inserts and this other icon which is your generators. So we're going to click on this. Now at the moment we've actually got our title selected, that's not what we want, we want to have a look at our generators. Let's click on that. So this is our generators. At the moment I have many different generators installed to help my editing workflow and my style of editing. There are a few that I will be uninstalling because I just don't need them. So let's show you how this works. So Clouds is a generator within Final Cut Pro 10 that everybody has by default. So if you drag this into your timeline, you will have a media source, which is basically clouds. But the cool thing about this is that you can change the way these clouds operate and present themselves. For example, up in the preview window, the, sorry, not the preview window, up in the inspector window, you have a few things that you can toggle to make these clouds have the right sort of effect that you're looking for. So if we go up to clouds now, you can see that we've got the clouds toggle bar and it's currently at 12%. Let's move this up. You can see that the higher we toggle this, the more clouds are on screen. This is also the same for tracking. So tracking is a motion and you can see the motion in action as I'm toggling it. We've got dolly, which is how far the the image will move. We have haze, which is how hazy it will look. Maybe it's a little bit, it's an overcast day. And we've got a random pattern, so this is most likely the random pattern of clothes that will occur. The more you toggle up, the higher the random pattern. If we play this for you very quickly, yes it's unrendered, but we should see some of what we've just done. Let's press play. There are many different types of generators with placeholders and more that you can download. Uh, there's one from uh, Pixar Film Studios there, which is an audio visualizer. I have a video on that, so if you're interested, do you find that video up in the cards right now. It should be on screen for you to click and have a look at that. So here's another one here. It's called Intersect. And unlike the clouds, it gives you a different pattern. Now notice how the media source is a lot shorter. Um, you can actually toggle the length of any of these generators, by the way, just by grabbing the edge and dragging the mouse. And if we click on it, it should populate within the inspector as to what we can change with this generator. For this one, it's literally just changing the motion from a motion into a still image so that the image does not move. Different generators have different things that you can toggle and change. So generators, is there something that you would like to know that was not covered within this video about Final Cut Pro 10 generators? If there was, then hit us down in the comment section down below and I will try to answer your question to the best of my ability. And I'm also very active here on YouTube as well. But don't forget, don't go anywhere because I've got more coming up on Final Cut Pro 10 for you beginners. And not only that, I have other different editing topics that I do tackle here on Anthony Allen Edits.